Good morning, Marsteaders. I think our cat Figaro belongs in the wild. It's one of his favorite hanging spots. Huh, Figaro, you like the log pile? You're crazy. Crazy cat. Before we head outside to do the chores, we need to get dinner cooking in the crock pot. We're gonna have a chicken tonight. I don't know what else, but we need to start with the chicken. Let's get it out of the freezer. The way we cook our pasture-raised chickens is we keep them whole and it's still frozen. We find this way works best for us because we're so busy. It's easy. Set it on low. And we'll leave it in the crock pot all day long while we're at work working. It's perfect. You put it in the crock pot frozen before you leave for work. You come home, you got a beautiful chicken ready for you to eat. It can't be any easier than that. There's our chicken plucker we're still waiting to give away. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway for the automatic chicken plucker. If you want to learn how to win, I'll put a link here and in the description down below. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? It's not your food, it's for the chickens. Come on, Pluto, we're going to go out from upstairs. I'm sporting the red Lumna Acres sweatshirt with the black logo today. It's the first time I've worn this sweatshirt of this color. I like it. I'm coming out, Pluto. Come on. Oh man, I didn't lock the chickens up in New York City last night. There's Andy and his hairdo. Good morning, Andy. Back up. All the chickens are getting along wonderfully. <laughs> right, Andy? You've been behaving yourself. It's kind of, it's warmed up a little bit the last few days, which has been odd, but I'll take the warmer weather.
Oh, Andy, you remind me of Big Bird with a funky hairdo. Let's go check on Prosciutto and Copa. Looks like they're sleeping in their tote. I think they hear us. I see their ears moving. Good morning. Looks like they ripped off one of the covers for the feeder and it rained last night. They'll still eat that. Right? Good morning. You coming over to say hello? Yeah. You're warming up to us, huh? You were the skittish one. I gotta get over to your water. What? I wanna give you fresh water. Good morning. When we get home from work this afternoon, we'll have to let the girls out of the pen and into the pasture. Does that sound like fun? You want to go in the pasture? All right, when we get home, we'll come back out and let you out. It's nice to see them warming up to us. We'll be back in a little while. And you can come out. We had a friend and fellow modern stutter send us up a gift. And I think I know the perfect spot to hang it. I think right here it's gonna be perfect for this clock. Thank you, Dennis. All right, let me get a screw in there. Let's see how that fits. Stand back and take a look. Oh, that looks nice. All right, we got a battery. Let's check the time and set it. 50. There we go. I know it's not fair. You haven't had a chance to see the whole outdoor kitchen yet. I want to wait and do a proper outdoor kitchen tour video. That will be coming up in the next few days. I'm excited to do that and I hope you're excited to see the big reveal of the outdoor kitchen all finished. And the clock just put the finishing touches on it. Thanks, Dennis. I like that. I gotta head off to work right now. I gotta go in and get changed, put the correct clothing on for the job. When I get home, I'll let the pigs out. We gotta finish making dinner, and then we'll eat it. Oh, that's right. It'll just be me and Olivia tonight for dinner. Gina's going out for a girls' night birthday party. Shh, don't spoil it. See you in a little bit. Now that we're back from work, let's check on the chicken. I bet you it's cooking up perfectly. I put some salt, pepper, and garlic powder on it before I left. Ooh, we're getting steamed up. Let's turn it down to warm. It's been on low all day. And look at that beautiful bird. Doesn't that look perfect? Oh, me and Olivia are gonna have a good dinner tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Let's give the chickens their afternoon feed and let the pigs out and then we can collect the eggs. Oh, we got flying chickens. Back up. Hey, hey. The chickens want to come out, but we can't let them out yet. The chickens are crazy. They want to come out in free range, which I don't blame them. 
but I don't want to let them out yet. I want them all to learn that the greenhouse is their home and they need to go in at night. And I'm not 100% comfortable with the Icelandic chickens knowing that that's home and they'll go back every day. So we're gonna leave them in there another week and then we'll let them out. You girls wanna come out for this afternoon? You can come out for an hour before it gets dark. Yep. Come out and run. Get you out of the mud. Go ahead. You know you want to. Go for it. The running of the pigs. Oh, so much fun. I don't know which pig to watch. Girls are crazy. Should I be scared? Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? What? What are you doing, Pasciuto? What are you doing? What are you doing, Copa? What? Comes Copa. Round in the corner, oh no! You girls are crazy. You're crazy. Let's see what we got for eggs in New York City. Hey! Ooh, you touched it. They gotta test it. She knows. Yikes! Two fresh eggs. Nice clean hay. Two eggs. They have slowed down for the winter. Them pigs are crazy. They see Pluto. Now that our chicken is all cooked, I'm gonna take off all the meat by cooking the chicken in the crock pot the way we do. The meat just basically falls right off all the bones. Now I don't worry about getting all the meat off the bones. I got most of it off the bones. This is a heritage raised bird, so it's not loaded with meat like our broiler is. But we have a lot of meat here. Our family will get two to three meals out of this. And it is full of flavor. Once we have everything separated, I take out our instant pot and I pour our leftover juice, skin, and bones into the instant pot. I find the instant pot makes a lot better bone broth and it does it in about 20 minutes. It's amazing. The bone broth is more congealed, it's delicious, it's healthy for you, and it's done fast. Twelve cups, that'll be good. Over here we have 
one onion cut into quarters, two carrots cut in half, four pieces of celery, and two cloves of garlic, and we have our raw apple cider vinegar. What are you doing? Waiting for dinner? Yeah. Yeah. It's the cooking. Going back to some more chicken? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. Smell the broth cooking in the instant pot? No, you know it's stuffed up, isn't it? That means we're gonna have to have some soup with some good bone broth this weekend. Make you feel better. Awesome. When the instant pot's done, I'll bring you back over there and I'll show you our next step. Oh yeah. What I'll do is I'll just take it out, let it sit for a little while and cool off before I strain it. One of the things that makes it easier, if you remember to do it, is try to pull out some of the bigger items still in the mixture. We store our chicken broth in a one gallon glass container. We have a stainless steel funnel and then our stainless steel strainer. Set it on in place and let it cool off for a couple of hours before we stick it in the fridge. Look at that beautiful broth and all the layers of fat. It's delicious. We hope you enjoyed tonight's video. We hope mom's having a good time out celebrating Angie's birthday tonight. Right? Yeah. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it. It really helps the channel grow. We wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. If you'd like to have your chance to win the automatic chicken plucker, I'm going to put a link here in the description down below. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at... One Minute Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.